So here's a quick demonstration of how I use ZBrush to do parametric simulation, I'd call it. It's not really parametric surface as in Grasshopper, but it simulates. So here are a few examples of using really array mesh, ZBrush's array mesh and Boolean functions to create uh, these interesting shapes. And they are really just thought starters to begin maybe a design but I think it's very interesting. So really what I've done is taken two tools and uh, combined them with the Boolean function using, you know, there's, there's union and then there's subtraction and there's one called like, uh, what's it called? It's, uh, it's, it's combining both of them where they're overlap. So using that function with the two tools, I can create some very interesting shapes, as you can see here. And yeah, are these practical? No, but they're great thought starters. And, and I really, that's what I use ZBrush for anyways. It's not, like I said, it's not an end all. It's just something to sketch in 3D, to think in 3D, and then use it as a springboard for your, your final project, not to present. So there are some people who are thinking that, well, yeah, ZBrush is supposed to, you know, replace more serious software, maybe replace Alias or Maya. It's not really intended to do that, at least in my estimation, at least not as it is now. But it's great for, for um, starting a thought, investigating, finding form. So here's that tool that I made using the clip curve and uh, move to one of my most favorite tools. Just making a quick shape and then I'll go down to array mesh. After I sized it, go down to array mesh, start an array and use the sliders. You can see are very simple. Use the sliders to create a series of those objects. You know, this is offsetting it. And then I can go ahead and rotate it, scale it, as you can see. And we can use, even use the uh, curve too so that there's a gradation, there's a progression as opposed to it being a straight line, you know. So that adds more interest to the array. And then I can go ahead and take this particular this particular object here as one unit, and then send that also through the array. And you'll see in a moment how that's done. Now I have additional objects in an array with the same function. And now I can go back to the first array and still tweak that, that first line of objects. I can still tweak that, but I won't do that right now. I'm just kind of trying to find something that is, is cool looking, at least. Still messing around with the form, messing around with the rotation, the curves, etc. I've got something now. So what I, I need to do is make a mesh because really all those are our instances. After I've made that mesh, it's a very heavy poly uh, model actually because it's got a lot of verts in it. So I have to take that and decimate it so that it'll really be useful else it'll be too heavy to really move and to manipulate. So I make, I decimate that. Now you can see that it's decimated because it's triangulated. You can see all the triangles there. And then I'm going to duplicate this and still do some more to it. Maybe, uh, scale it, flip it, whatever is necessary to get something that's interesting. I think maybe this is something that I like. So I'll use this as one tool and combine it with the speed form that I started with. There it is down at the bottom here, and it's pretty small. So I'll have to scale this array mesh mash it up against that. And then now 
just turn on the boolean live booleans and you can see it there but I have on the frame mesh so I'm gonna turn that off and you can see how uh, the resultant form looks by these two forms clashing into each other I'm also duplicating that array so I can move it forward to get some different shape or orient it a little differently so really that's all to it and I mean I'm very inspired by what I see here already I think I can take this and well shoot this is something that you can't really draw you can draw it you can try to draw it but it, it inspires a drawing it inspires uh, to move forward with this so this is cool and I hope it helps all right enjoy